we need to know how many children will be school going children for the first time next year. This is the information that you get from the census or even the year after or, or the other years. So for planning purposes. Mm. So it's really for services that the government need to provide. That is very important. And then also to know where are the people located in the country so that you know which region has got more people than the other. Then also for, for, the, for, the, for the academic and also the researchers, when you do your sample, you need to know it must be based on the population. Your sample must be representative of the population, otherwise it will be biased. So the census will tell you how many people are in region X. When you do your sample, when you, when you draw a sample for any research, you also uh, know that for that specific region there is uh, an amount, uh, there is an amount of people that are there. The percentage must, must reflect to that. So also for policy making in terms of uh, whether it's access to amenities, access to water, yeah. this is what you get from the census because this is a GIS enabled census, meaning that location will be also play a role here. Mm. That's why one of the thematic reports that we are going to bring out will be a, a proximity report to say how many people have access or to water or distances to water or distances to schools. Mm. That is where the importance of the census comes in. How, it, 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 in, in the past we, 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 we did see a challenge for enumerators accessing farms, um, um, no, or, private ex or private farms in general. Uh, how, how do you see things panning out in this particular regard? Has this issue been addressed? Have, 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 has the NSA engaged <coughs> um, private uh, farm owners in this particular regard? How, how is this uh, going to, to fare out? Yeah, we had a discussion with the Namibia Agricultural Union and also the Farmers Federation. We we discussed in terms of the modalities because they also wanted to understand because they wanted to to find out is it not easier for us and for them for people to get together and then we actually ask the questions there for the interview of the census and then they go back. But it's not that straightforward, it's not that mm -hmm. simple because we need to be at the locations also where we need to get the GIS coordinates to say, when you talk about proximities of, of, okay. of everything, uh, they need to have, the, this is not only a population census, it's a population and housing census. So the housing, w or the houses will also be counted. Now within uh, a farm, maybe you will have more than one house right. that needs to be also counted, or what we call the dwelling units. Uh, and that's to say what type of houses it is also. Uh, th th that's why we need to be there. But what we have done with the, uh, with the farmers, we have spoken to the Namibia Ag Agricultural Union, and then we are looking at modalities of how to also make sure that uh, they are safe from their side. Mm -hmm. We need to communicate <coughs> the information up front, who is going to go away from our side at what time. We also don't want to go there when the farmers are maybe in the field right. and we cannot find, get hold of them. So that communication is very important. Everyone who's arriving before, before 12 tonight, will have to be counted in the country. Even if you are a tourist, you need to be counted. Uh, that's what the snapshot that we are talking about. And those people who slept in your household, they also need to be counted. And uh, when I spoke about the a, a, a census being a snapshot of the country, you can do the same in order to remember who slept in your house. You can take a snapshot of the people who were before you go to bed, and then you can save it for yourself mm -hmm. or your family. And then when people come back, you can actually, you don't need to have a paper that you have written down, but you can go back to your picture that was saved on that day or yes. the night of the 24th and remember these are the people who slept here. That's the one thing. Uh, we will also be looking at people who are arriving and leaving the country so that we can count accordingly. That is happening tonight. So there's an operation already tonight that we are busy with. We are also going to look at the homeless tonight also mm. because these people are quite nomadic. Maybe tonight they'll sleep here, tomorrow there. The police will be accompanying us because they know where these places are, who, who the people sleep, whether it's under the bridges, under at, 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 at police, uh, at maybe police stations also, or maybe in, in malls as well. <coughs> so this is what we call the special population, mm. including people in hospitals, okay. in lodges, those where we count first because they move. Yeah. But for a person like you and I, we'll have to go to the households and find out who slept in your house 
on the night of the 24th of September. Right. 